Hello, my name is Rajesh Kantamani, a database solutions architect here at Amazon Web Services. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Aurora DSQL. We are going to look into how to create a multi-region Aurora DSQL cluster, then connect to it locally, later create a schema and tables and load some sample data set into a table using Aurora DSQL loader tool. And finally, query the data on both the regions to confirm the data is replicating cross regions and we can query it. So let's dive in. Let's go ahead and create a Aurora DSQL cluster. And this is a console landing page for the service. So let's go ahead and click on create cluster to create the cluster. So currently we are in US East one region. And let's say if you want to create a single region cluster, then you can skip the multi-region configuration. But if you would like to create a multi-region, then select the secondary region by clicking on add linked regions. And under the linked cluster region, you can select your secondary region where your cluster needs to be in. And you can select the witness node, uh, witness region as US West 2. And the next one is a deletion protection. Uh, deletion protection basically protects you from any accidental deletion. Uh, so it's turned on by default, but you can turn it off if you would like to. And the next one is the tags. Tags is a way to easily identify what your cluster name is, what you're using it for, so on and so forth. So right now I'm going to create my cluster name as demo cluster and say create cluster. Once we cl uh, click on the create cluster button, it's going to create the cluster in US East one region and as well as in US East two region. And uh, it might take a couple of minutes to actually create the cluster in both US East one and US East two and uh, to be available. So once a cluster is created, you can see that the status switches from creating to active. And since this is a multi-region cluster, we have the linked region as US East 2, which means your secondary region is US East 2. So now let's switch to US East 2, and let's see if the cluster is created, yes. So the status in US East 2 is active as well, um, which means you have the cluster deployed in multi-regions in US East 1 and US East 2. So now let's switch to the topics and let's see how we can connect to the uh, Aurora DSQL cluster. To connect to the DSQL cluster, we can uh, click the connect button here. And this gives you the endpoint and the port number and the database name. And here you have two options to connect. One is to connect using the admin, which we are you're going to use since this is uh, a demo. And the second option is uh, use a custom database role. And we, we are going to use um, a authentication token to connect to the database. And this is only for US East 1. You will have the similar kind of configuration for US East 2 as well. So if you switch to US East 2 and say connect, you, you'll get the details for the US East 2 region as well. So now let's head back to the terminal and let's connect to the cluster from there. So now let's go ahead and connect to the DSQL cluster on the US East 1 and US East 2 region. First, we are going to connect to US East 1. And we are now going to switch to US East 2 and connect to the cluster on the US East 2 side. And you might be uh, seeing that I'm not using the password here because I'm using the authentication token and I have already passed in that information. So now we are connected to both US East 1 and US East 2 regions. Now let's go ahead and create a schema called orders and also a table called uh, orders row dot reviews where we are going to load some sample data set using the Aurora DSQL loader. So now if you see we have created the orders and also the reviews table inside the orders. So now let's switch to the US East 2 region and see if we can query the table uh, that we have we just created, orders.reviews table. So let's do that. And we can see that we can query the, da uh, query the table orders.reviews that we have created on US East 1 on US East 2. So this is a GitHub repo for the Aurora DSQL loader. And the Aurora DSQL loader.py is a loader script. 
and uh, we have the prerequisites predefined. Um, it tells you all the libraries that you would need to run the uh, tool. And there are some features along with the, the tool. You can specify the batch size, number of threads, and also it has a retry mechanism uh, using back of or jitter. And then we have uh, a sample of how to execute the script and also a full usage uh, syntax as well with all the options that you would get uh, to run the tool. So now let's go ahead and clone the repo locally. I have already cloned the repo, so I'm not going to clone the repo again. Um, if you see, there's a, a file name called reviews underscore data underscore 99.txt. That's a sample data set that we are going to load the data. I have uh, generated that data using a data generator. So let's go ahead and run the uh, DSQL loader tool. So this should load around um, 99,000 records into the reviews table. Um, so now if you see there's, um, it, it shows that how many rows are completed and the rows are loaded. And there is also a log file that is associated with it. It's um, uh, load underscore table name underscore the timestamp dot log. So this is how you can load the data. So now let's do a count on both the regions and see if the data is loaded into the reviews table. On US East 1, uh, the data is loaded. So let's check on the US East 2 region. And we can see that the data is loaded on both the regions for the reviews table. This comes to the end of our demo. I hope you find this demo informative and thank you for watching.